Is this thing on? Yes, it's, it's recording. Oh dear. It's John from Sarcastic Gamer again, and I come up with a segment which I'm probably going to do once called Crap You've Never Played With. And I've had a rummage around in my wardrobe with the torch, which is still on my head. Um, and I've dug out some old stuff, like, you know, stuff that's old, and I'm going to see if I can get it working. And the chances are you've never seen it or played it, and it's probably the only crap that I have seen or played, which is why this segment's going to only happen, you know, once. Anyway, um, swivelly. Right, and here it is. No, that's a drawing of an elephant I did for my iPad. Here it is. There we go. It's um, a Joggon controller, which Namco brought out um, for Ridge Racer Type 4, which is a racing game, a bit like Mod Nation. Um, I might as well crack it open so you can get an idea of what it actually is, other than a boff, a lady, seemingly attached to a controller. The box is very, very dusty. Can't find the hinge. There's the hinge. Um, oh, there's Red Racer. I guess we need a game to play with this controller. And a very, 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 very bashed box. Uh, controller with wire wound around it. I was very careful in these days, evidently. So, um, here's the Jogcon controller. Um, it's a bit like a PlayStation controller, except it's got a dial in the middle. And very, very long handles at the bottom, for some reason. There's a DualShock for comparison. Little midget controller here. Um, some funny shaped shoulder buttons. No analog sticks and a mode button. Come on, autofocus. Nope, you're not on my side today. Mode button there, which changes a mode of some kind. Um, obviously, this is a PlayStation 1 controller. That's my phone going. Excuse me. I love it when this sort of plan comes together. Planning and convenience and generally people phoning at inconvenient times. Wonderful. Um, but yeah, as it is a PlayStation 1 controller, we need a PlayStation 1 to, you know, play it with. So, um, there's one there. Doesn't that take you back? Yeah, fun times, fun times. Um, should hook it up at the back, I guess. That would be an idea, if I could put the cable in the right way. Wonderful. Um, get Ridge Racer out, I guess. Oh, there's a disc that's fallen out, that's convenient. And a disc with a lady on the front with my finger through her cheekbone. Game character homicide. Uh, we control one up. Turn the telly on. Again, planning. Master of it, so I am. Or something. And, uh, nope, that's Dave. Hello, copyrighted content. Please don't sue me, YouTube. And I think it's that one. Turn the thing on. And pray. Success! Uh, is the controller working? The controller does not appear to be working. Um, at least not yet. It's not doing anything. I should just pray. And then pray some. Oh, we have a light! The mode light is on! Who needs firmware updates when you have serial cable connections? Uh, I don't really know what I'm doing with this yet. But, Red Racer's working, which is a start. And doesn't that look ugly? You, I'm quite glad you can't see how ugly this looks. Of course, this harkens back to the days when you had to press circle to go into a menu, which... Controller set up! This is hopefully what I want. Oh, it's picked up as a jog con. Hooray! Oh, you use the tr shoulder buttons. 
although not the ones at the back which is what I would have liked you know old fashioned style okay so I mean R1 and L1 to accelerate and brake uh, okay let's, let's go with that set the center position, oh god you've got to calibrate it, oh my, press the start button steering play, so that's like what no idea what that is but uh, yeah let's go with that one max rotation, oh you can choose how far you rotate it so this works like a little steering wheel this is going to be awful force feedback strength, oh there's force feedback and everything wonderful, that's what I need driving a car with my thumbs I can tell you this is not going to end well. Now of course, because this is Ridge Racer, um, it doesn't understand the concept of just being able to press a button and race. So, let's skip through some cutscenes just so I can get into an actual car and drive. Thank you, whatever that cutscene was about to say. Um, choose a team, let's go with that one because it's the first one that's there. You just can't understand why Ridgers have fell apart, can you? Because it's not like it was, all in all honesty, a little bit crap. And let's go with that one, because it's the first one there. Wonderful, I've got a car that resembles a wedge of cheese. That'll do nicely. Well, as nice as we can get. We got you this company for this season. Just like I've requested, apparently. Not that I've been paying any attention. Yay! Am I racing yet? Saturday 1st of May 1999. That takes me back. I, I remember when we thought this was as high tech as... Oh my god, the wheel just centred itself. Oh, it springs back. So it's got a set position. Oh, there's a little thing down the bottom. Still got a little line down the bottom, showing the steering. Anyway, um... Yeah, here goes. So that's me. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't like this already. It's... Um... No, 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 this isn't, this is not going well. Right. Um... I swear I'm, I'm trying to pay... That's a car. Don't drive into the car. Uh, it's very, it's very loose. Probably if you sat and played with the calibration for a while, you might get somewhere. But at the moment, all I'm doing is driving into things and it's having a fit. And I drift, that's the question. Oh, 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 oh! It's, it's getting easier. Maybe I just panicked at the start. And I've overtaken someone. It's actually not bad, to be honest. It's That's a wall, though. That's also a wall. And that's me somehow rescued myself. Whee! I'm actually having quite good fun with this. Of course, the problem is, this is the only game, as far as I know, with the exception of Red Racer 5 on the PS2, that ever supported the Jogcon. And they, it just... It's, it's like a fight stick for racing games, really, isn't it? You only buy it, play it for one game. And that's the back of a car, don't drive into that. But yeah, you'd only ever buy it for one game. And that would be that. And then you'd just never, ever go need it again. Frankly. I mean, could you ever see yourself using this in something like Gran Turismo? Nah. But, something that you could just jump into like this. Yeah, it's not that bad. Don't remember for the life of me why I ever got it, but I have ever got it. But it's it's weird in a way driving with your thumbs. Not a term I'd ever thought I heard myself say. But this force feedback's nice once you go over the initial panic of trying to counter steer using nothing but the opposable parts of your hands. Opposable appendages are. And you've probably stopped watching by now because you've seen the first 30 seconds, see me crash into a wall and thought, oh, it's a bit crap. And you'd be right, it is a bit crap. But it's crap in its own nice way. In a way in the way that, you know, um 
10p bags of crisps are a bit crap. But they are crisps in the end. No! 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 I was going to win! And no, I'm not. I blame the fact that I'm driving a wedge of cheese. A wedge of cheese that somebody has bled on. It's a bleeding wedge of cheese. So, uh, that's that, really. That's... That's the jog con. Um, and that's Ridge Racer. And that's a PS1. And that's an empty glass of orange juice. And... I've, I've, I've not got an ending again. Okay. Bye!